So on today's quick tip, I just wanted to show you a panel which I think has become increasingly useful in recent years. Um, it's, it's one that I just started using over the last few years and I found it more and more I'm kind of going through to make adjustments in here. And it's the properties panel. And when you click on the properties panel up here, um, if you haven't got anything selected, it will show you properties just for the document in general. Um, so you can see up here, document, units is millimeters. I've got one art model in there, which can be edited from here. And it gives me some information on rulers, guides, etc. But if you select a particular item, so say I get the black arrow and select this little um, rounded rectangle on the top here, I then see properties for the shape I've selected. So up here, I can now, for example, transform from here. I might decide to change the position of this by adjusting the X setting. Um, you can do this in a number of ways. You can click into this box and type a number. You can click in there and simply go up and down with the up and down arrows on the keyboard, or you can hold the shift key down if you want to go up and down in larger increments. Um, so there's a variety of options in there. Obviously the same can be done with a Y as well. So you can move this up and down on the page if you want and adjust it numerically. Um, you can also adjust the width and height in there, make it wider for example, or higher if you want to. And you can do flips in there as well. So flip along the vertical or the horizontal axis and even a simple rotate if you want to do. So you could rotate that around, for example. The ability in there to change the fill or the stroke as well. So in this case, I've got a two point stroke. I can make it thicker if I want to and go in there and do that or click on the word stroke and that will open up a little shortcut to the stroke panel. So I might decide to put a dashed line on there, for example, and, and give myself something like that may want to go in there and change the color of that stroke so we'll make it orange instead so you can do that type of thing very very easily from there and you can even go into doing things like adding effects so you've got all your vector effects up there and your raster effects further down so that kind of thing can be done and then there's a whole load of quick actions which go a long way beyond the scope of this quick tip but going in there for things like recoloring or expanding the shape for example or stuff like that all of which is beyond the scope of this and again, this is relevant to whatever object you select. So if I was to go over here and select the circle behind, you'll see the settings have now all changed and I'm now working on the circle behind. So if you haven't used it before, I would definitely recommend having a look at the properties panel. Um, you can get to it in the window menu, just down here on the properties. It's one that personally I used for quite a long time in Photoshop, but only really kind of started using seriously in Illustrator over the last couple of years. I think I've probably started using it a lot earlier in Photoshop for whatever reason. Um, and now I'm using it more and more in Illustrator as well. So definitely recommend having a look at that one.